G'day guys, Smiley Rob here. In this screencast, we're going to do a simple table of contents uh, for a website to navigate up and down a page and then have a back to top to be able to navigate to the very top of the page. This came as a request from the author of Raising Misters, Kate Armstrong, who has put together a, a blog about all the things she's learnt while raising her two boys. Uh, and it's a, recently she's put together a little blue book and it is her little, uh, her little blue book of all the, the great places she can go for doing things like uh, finding out where to get toys from, party supplies, gifts, all sorts of things to help other parents. So in, since she's doing such a great thing for other parents, I thought I would uh, do my bit and help her make her site even better. So as you can see, this little blue book has so many resources and hopefully this table of contents will help you navigate to exactly the part you need and then be able to jump up to the top to see it all again. So I've just, uh, let's just dive right in. I've made this, this simple website with a list of all the same headings and such. Um, there's no styling or anything, I'm just going to try and keep this simple. And over here, I've got, now don't be afraid, there is a little bit of code here, but this is what's happening under the hood at a very simple level. Okay, so you've got what's called a P tag, and that's wrapped around each line, line item that we have over here in the website. And I've just got a thing called a H1, which is the heading of the page. I've got my site. I could call this the little uh, blue book and save that. And you can see that just updating over on the side there. Cool. So it's a very simple website. And what we want to do is make a table of contents. Now I'm going to just go ahead and jump right in and type out what you need to do. So what we want to do is write what's called an A tag. You can see the, uh, you can see the angle bracket there, a simple little A and then a thing called an href. Inside here, I'm going to write, uh, let's pick a category. What's something all the way down here so we can show how it jumps up and down. Oh, here we go. How about photo books? All right, and I'm just going to write something like photo books so we know exactly what we're talking about. And I'm going to write here, go to photo books. All right, cool. So now if I scroll all the way to the very top, we've got now a little link up the top and I click on it. It doesn't do anything yet, but you can see it's, it's the beginnings of what we want here. Okay, so now that I've got my A tag, we need to tell tell this website what we mean by photo books. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down here. I should have photo books somewhere. There it is. Or oh, photo products. Oh, my bad. Let's actually call that photo products. Okay, go to photo products. All right, that, that makes a bit more sense. Let's come all the way back down. And what we want to do is we want to jump to this part of the page. So inside the P tag that we have here, we're going to write ID and identify this part of the page as the photo products part of the page. Okay, nice and simple. So we identify this part and we add the table of contents at the top. And if I go back to here and click on this, boom, it comes all the way down to photo products. Okay, so now that's, that's all well and good, but what if I want to go back up to the top? Well, that's basically doing the complete opposite. So inside this P tag, I'm just going to write, a, we're going to do another A H ref equals, it's always best practice to, to open and close your tags whenever possible. Um, go to top, it's usually what they call that. And then I'm going to write a H ref that Let's just call that um, top of page. And we actually need to tell the browser um, where the top of the page is. So if I scroll all the way up to the top and identify, let's identify the, the heading. ID. The heading as the top of the page. Then we should be able to go to photo products. That jumps all the way down to photo products. That's good and then go to top, click on that, and it goes right back to the top. So all you want to do now is make a bunch of these for each category that you have on the page, and then when you go down, you want to add a new A tag to go to top of page. You want to add that to every single 
every single section here um, until you're all done. You want to have that at the bottom of every section so that you can go to the top at any point in time. So I hope that was helpful. This just quick and dirty de a demo of how to write some HTML to be able to navigate your page even easier. If you have any questions, just add them in the comments below. Um, anyway, until next time, thanks very much.